one, two, two and a half, <laughs> one, two, Woo! Yeah. Ah, we're getting closer to the kit, clap people, clap, clap, all right, guys, I'm warmed up. You're warmed up. Let's start the show. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have been mentioning that I am a sword swallower. Now, some of you will have realized by now that this is not a sword. Very observant of you. Ten points to Gryffindor. <laughs> Go team. Uh, basically, guys, the two reasons that I swallow fly swatters on the street instead of swallowing an actual sword. Is it nice? Reason number one, I like to try and keep my shows family friendly. If I swallow actual swords on the street, your kids freak out. They go home to the cutlery drum. Not what I want on my conscience again. The second round, okay. if your kids go home and eat fly swatters, it's added protein, okay? It's all good. Uh, the second reason that I swallow fly swatters on the street instead of swallowing an actual sword uh, is just so I can do this. Uh, Martin, just check that for me. Martin, does that fold up, roll up, or slide up in any way, shape, or form? No, you're pretty happy with that? That's not a fly. That's not a fly. I think you want to lick it. I know. Let's bring our applause for Martin. Okay, do you want to lick it? Do you want to come with me and I'll get you a nice one? Awesome. I will get you to check it as well, buddy. What's your name? John. John, does that fold up, roll up, or slide up in any way, shape, or form? No, you're happy with that? John, have you ever seen a fly swatter that does roll up? Yeah, me neither. If you find one, please let me know. Make my life so much easier. All right, awesome. Quick round of applause for Sean. So, let's walk today's food shop and then you can come back and watch the rest of the show, okay? Please check that for me. Now, Matt, does it fold up, roll up, or slide up in any way, shape, or form? All right, Matt, do me one quick favor. Can I just get you to come and stand here for me? Facing the front. Standing here, facing the front. Now, ladies and gentlemen, look, it's Matt. Give me one second, I think we can get louder. Ladies and gentlemen, look, it's not you! <laughs> now Matt, the two big myths about sword swallowing. Myth number one, uh, is that anyone, uh, so myth number one, sort of folds up, rolls up, stays in the mouth, never actually reaching the stomach. We've let half a dozen of you lovely people check it now, pretty safe to say that's not the case. Second big myth about sword swallowing, Matt, is that anyone can do it with no real training whatsoever. So on the count of three, we're all going to clap, scream, and cheer for Matt. <laughs> as he attempts to swallow the fly swatter. <laughs> Everyone together, nice and loud for Matt. One, two, three, Matt! Woo! <laughs> no, that's fine, buddy, that's fine. We'll swallow it. I'm going to go obviously thinking. Oh, the only other discover. I'm going to give you knives and hope for the best. I'm um, standing right here for, I love your shoes! Did you keep losing the old ones? I'm uh, never losing these. I lost them like this one. Uh, it's very simple, Matt. I slide the fly swatter down the throat, between the lungs, behind the heart, through the ovaries, and into the stomach. I then, if you didn't get it, it's okay. If your kids got that joke, it's not my fault. I lean forward, I put out my hand, and you're going to pass me the knife. All three at once, hand on first, and I hope there's no need to duck, I'm not juggling yet. Uh, I then start juggling, while I'm juggling, I'm going to get you to walk around the front, you're just going to hold up the straight jacket for me, okay? Uh, I picked you to hold up the straight jacket for me, you should look like the kind of guy who's into this kinky stuff, okay? So I'm get you to hold those for me, and we'll get you to hold this just for a moment as well. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I do need one more person to help me with the finale of the show. I need the help of a cute kid who wants to win a prize. I right, we'll go with you, little red shoes. <laughs> you put your hand up. We'll go with you, love. What's your name? Come on over, come on over, come on over, come on over. Quickly, it's good. Hello. I need to know two things before I can let you inside the show, okay? Number one, what is your name? Pardon? Katie. Katie, don't give your name to strangers. Very important life lesson. Now, Katie, who are you here with today? Mum, dad, kidnapper? Your mum. It's always good. Hi, mum. How are you? Um, is it okay with you if Katie helps in the show? Cool. Can I just get a quick thumbs up from Mum uh, that everyone can see that I do have permission to throw <laughs> knives at the kid. Now, something is standing here for me. I'm joking. I'm not going to throw knives at you. 
Why are we loading them to Matt? No, uh, uh, Katie, just for security reasons, I'm not going to call you Katie anymore, okay? I don't want any of these lovely people to know your real name, okay, Katie? So from now on, Katie, I'm not going to call you Katie anymore. From now on, Katie, I'm just going to call you Kevin. Don't tell her what happened to the last one. <laughs> you may have missed that show. Uh, Kevin, just one step to the right, that will finish cleaning up the blood. Perfect. Now, Kevin, just so I know where you are at all times, and to try and keep the sun out of your eyes. <laughs> I don't like changing the script. I'm from Australia, yeah? Uh, I'm going to get you to wear the big blue hat. Is that okay with you? Perfect. Oh, sorry, does she have head lice? I do now. Don't scratch it or make sorry, that was my fault. Don't scratch it or make him angry, okay? Just gonna hold the padlock for me. Uh, Kevin, you have one job in my show, it is very easy but very important. When Matt ties me up in the straight jacket and the 35 meters of chain, when I'm all wrapped up, you're gonna come forward with that padlock. You're gonna put it through where the chain crosses over, you're gonna click it shut. When you put it through and click it shut, everyone here, clap screams and cheers for you. And when everyone here is going ballistic for Kevin, Kevin wins herself five pounds. Does that sound good to you, buddy? Thought it might. Is that okay with you, Mum? Yeah, awesome. Oh, here we go. Thank you so much, guys. We are ready to start the show now. I'm part of my job. I was part of my job is gathering together that first group of people, uh, that first group of laughing, happy people. Now, some of you are laughing, some of you are happy. Most of your people are ready to start the show. Here we go, guys. Fly swatter down the throat, juggling the knives, getting tied up in a straight jacket, 35 meters of chain by random strangers in a country I've been in for a week. What could go wrong? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is what a bad idea looks like. Uh, here we go. Fun 
center button, center button, center. Awesome. Who are you here with today, huh? Yeah, Your friend Steph. Hi, Steph. How are you? Good. Do you have a partner at all? No. Do you want one? Pardon? No, 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 not me. Sorry. <laughs> I was just saying, if you do a good job, uh, all the girls and guys here, I don't know which way you swing, but if you do a good job, you could have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a stuffed animal. I really don't mind. Now I'm going to put my arms in here. I'm going to pull it up and around my head. Okay. Whoever it is is going to be really lucky. He's definitely done this before. <laughs> uh, starting at the top, that first little strap goes through the little silver loop on the other side. And then you just go back around, do it up like a belt, pulling it as tight as you can. Okay, the word sympathy is not in Belfast language. Good work. Now you're going to work your way down all of the straps on my back. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I've been traveling around the world for the past eight and a half years uh, doing this show and shows like it. In that eight and a half years, I've traveled to 17 different countries. I can now speak three different languages. Um, obviously, English, as well as Australian, and American. <laughs> American is really just English, but slower. <laughs> is anyone here from America? You are? Hello, how are you, sir? I'm good. I'm not going to pick on you too much. You might have a gun. <laughs> what about in America are you from, mate? Maine. You're from, oh, that's all right. I know, I know where Maine is. You're practically Canada. That's Welcome true. to be here, buddy. <laughs> Woo, all of the gun jokes and the talking slowly joke, didn't annoy him anywhere near as much as calling him Canadian. I, I, as I was saying, guys, I've been traveling around the world for eight and a half years. It does get very lonely on the road. So to make it sound like I've got friends in my Instagram posts, I have named this strap. Uh, everybody, this is Jeffrey. Everyone say, hello, Jeffrey. Hello, Jeffrey. Not just the kids and the alcoholics, then, bro. <laughs> and the alcoholic kid. How you doing? <laughs> Everyone together, nice big hello, Jeffrey. One, two, three! Hello, Jeffrey! Hello, Jeffrey. Uh, Jeffrey, this is Matt. Matt, this is Jeffrey. Good work. Now, uh, just like, hold it nice and tight. Now, just like my ex-girlfriend, you and Jeffrey get to go behind my back. <laughs> Put it through there. Back around. Yep. It goes back around that way. And then you just do it up like all the other straps. Uh, by the way, if you laughed at the behind my back joke, <laughs> You're a horrible person, but at least you're in the right audience. We're just gathering together to laugh at my misfortunes. All right, now this one, Matt, you can pull as tight as you think is funny. Okay, he's got a twisted <laughs> sense of humor. You probably got a little bit tighter, buddy. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't worry about hurting me. We're in Edinburgh. You're a sadistic bunch of lovely people. Why well, I love coming back here, it's always fun. Okay, that's really good now. I shouldn't have picked on you. This just went from a family friendly show to quite possibly an actual hostage situation. Um, I'm gonna get you to grab the chain for me. Just grab the chain. Oh, sorry, that was my fault. I was watching Stephen. Uh, just grab the chain for me. Uh, Stephen's the name of the pigeon, by the way. I'm just gonna hang that over my neck like I've won the Freak Olympics. Love it. Now I'm just going to get you to pick a side. That side, good choice. Uh, standing in that front corner for me. Good work. Yeah, I'm standing again right there. Perfect. Uh, on the inside of the red road line, just for insurance purposes. It's a joke. <laughs> like I've got insurance. Uh, I'm going to put my leg over the chain. Now you can gather the chain up to you. Nice big loops. Gather, 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 gather. Uh, don't pull too tight just yet. We don't want the boys and girls to find out how a chainsaw works. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as I'm looking around, I can see quite a lot of you. I've got your arms crossed. Uh, I do kind of feel like you're mocking me. <laughs> if you come with your arms crossed, you're going to dislocate your elbows and shatter your shoulders. It is very painful. Uh, it's not quite as bad as clapping with your hands in your pockets. Do you know what happens if you clap with your hands in your pockets, sir? <laughs> yeah, you're going to squish your testicle. So take them out before you clap, okay? Yeah, your hands, not your... T <laughs> oh, this is fun. Uh, buddy here in the glasses, what's your name? Yeah, you, buddy, what's your name? Kurt. Pardon? Kurt. Kurt? Kurt, can I get you to do me one quick favor? Can I just get you to... Is that a water bottle? Yeah. You're holding it like a newborn. <laughs> That's beautiful. I think he's ready. Yeah. Uh, Kurt, can I just get you to come and grab the other chain for me, buddy? Just 
coming and grabbing the other chain. Thank you so much. Everyone, look, it's Kurt! Woo! Every day we can reword that again. And ladies and gentlemen, I do only use three volunteers in my show. Today we have Matt, we have Kevin, and we have Kurt. If none of them are you, on the count of three, give these guys a little bit of love. Because thanks to them, the rest of you are now safe! Woo! Okay, Kurt, thank you very much. That's a lot nicer than what they do in Australia. Now, Kurt, get you to pull nice and tight. And Matt as well, pulling nice and tight. A little bit tighter, Kurt. A little bit tighter, Matt. Uh, see how that feels. Not too bad. A little bit tighter, Kurt. Uh, in fact, Kurt, can I just get you to stand a little bit? Get like there. All right. We're going to start with you, okay, Matt? Now, when you pull, you need to pull and hold. You pull and let go, we're back where we started. So really pull and hold. A little bit tighter, a little bit tighter. Lean into it, man. Perfect, keep that tension there, okay? Now, Kurt, when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. It's not Christmas, it's not a party popper. We're gonna try and keep the meat and the veg on the same plate. The kids don't get it, they think we're having lunch. Right, Kurt. I just get you to pull a little bit tighter. Good job. Uh, before I go any further, nice and tight, Matt, nice and tight. Before I go any further, I, uh, I do just have to get one thing straight. Kevin, can I just get you to shut your eyes? Shut your eyes, shut your eyes. Thanks, Kevin. All right, awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, Kevin, you can open your eyes now. You're the first kid to ever actually shut your eyes for that joke. Thank you. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that was important. Totally not what I meant by getting something straight. What I really want to let you all know is after eight and a half years of my life, I get to travel the world, throw down some rope, throw out some bad one-liners in the hopes of building a crowd, making you smile, and making you laugh. This is what I do for a living. <laughs> It's the same reaction I got from my parents. Stunned silence, followed by a nervous laugh. Uh, to be quite honest, guys, this is my job, and I love what I get to do. Uh, at the end of the show, I do take a bow. I hold out my hat. If you've had fun, come forward, say hi. Uh, chuck something in the hat if you can afford it. But right now, I don't want you to think about money. If you think about money now, you're going to stress yourselves out. Where's the nearest ATM? He deserves 20 pounds. Yeah, okay. Right now, guys, all I want you to remember is this. At the end of this stupidity, when I take that final bow, I want to look up and see a large group of laughing, happy strangers. I'm going to try really hard to make sure that happens. The second thing, very important to me at the end of the show, please don't just run away without at least saying thank you. And I'm saying that thank you might not mean a lot to you. It means a heck of a lot more to me than just watching you all run away. If you can afford it, please support it. If not, stick around, have fun. Drink theatre is for everyone. Why I love what I do. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna get you to gather all of the chain up into your hands. You have, good. Uh, the reason we do this is I don't want the chain flicking around, hitting small children in the head, two shows in a row. Yeah, you laugh, so the kiss you got yesterday. How you doing today, buddy? You good? Oh, you look so confused. I think we got it better than I thought. All right, Kevin, stand on the red rope line for me. Red rope, yep, that one. Just stand right there for me. All right, guys, uh, Kurt and Matt, I get you to stand in front of Kevin, making sure you're both as far away from me as I am from you. Just a little bit closer, Matt. A little bit closer uh, to me, not to Kurt. <laughs> yeah, now pull nice and tight again. Uh, both of you pulling nice and tight. Good. Uh, at any point during this, you let it go slack. We've lost the point of the escape, okay? Next thing you're going to do is you're going to cross over. One goes under, one goes over. Alright, Matt wants to be on the bottom, good to know. Now you guys, keeping it tight, you're going to make your way around the back. Keeping it tight, making your way around the back. Now when you get to the back, Kurt, remember it's nice to take, take, it's nice to take turns on top. So this time Kurt goes under, Matt goes over. Perfect. Now keeping it nice and tight, you guys are going to keep going. Oh, keep it tight, Kurt, keep it tight. You guys are going to keep going. Over, under, over, under, over, under. Working your way around and around. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the escape that you're hopefully about to see today 
was made famous by the late great Harry Houdini. Now he could do this in just under four minutes. Today, for your entertainment, I will be Guys, I'm wearing a straight jacket, not a chastity belt. Let's work on the up around the arms. And you can let the chain slide out a little bit if you want. Perfect, up and around the arms, good one. As I was saying guys, after eight and a half years of my life, uh, my personal record currently sits at a very impressive three and a half hours. <laughs> Keep going guys, around the arms is good, around the elbows is good, around the wrists, the fingers uh, is good, around the neck, not so much, Kurt, watch what you're doing, man. I quite like the colour blue, I know. I like the colour blue, I don't want, no, it's not buddy, that's going to go around my neck. Pull it down, pull it down, perfect, keep it nice and tight. Uh, put, uh, that, can you meet at the back? No, that's it, perfect. Alright guys, here's what's going to happen. I'm sorry for not letting you wrap it around my throat. If you wrap it around my throat, I die. And if I, if I die, Look at all the witnesses <laughs> who just stood around watching you kill me. Alright guys, see that? at least how this works. Uh, just one step back on me, Kurt, you're in my life. Uh, guys, here's what's going to happen. On the count of three, you guys did a good job today. On the count of three, you guys are going to pull as hard as you can, getting rid of any slack left in this chain. On the count of three. Not on the count of two. Not whenever the head you feel like. Count of three. Uh, Kevin, on the count of three, you run forwards with your padlock, okay? You're going to put it through where the chain crosses over. Today, that is where it always is. Directly under my chin. Just uh, show her, point to it. Right about there, okay? So you come forwards, padlock through. These guys will help you. They're nice guys, you can trust them, okay? Um, how old are you, Kevin? Pardon? 10. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin is only 10 years old. When I was 10, I had self-esteem and dignity. <laughs> now it's too late for me. But it's not too late for Kevin. When Kevin comes forward, everybody clapping, screaming, cheering for Kevin. You're going to make this a positive memory, not the weird one that it currently is. Uh, if you all clap, scream and cheer for Kevin, she wins her five pound note, yeah? Alright Kevin, count of three, you run forwards, you guys pull, everyone claps, I rethink my life. Here we go. One, two, three, pull! Kevin, I can't feel my fingers. Is that normal? No, no is the correct answer. Take the key out for me, Kevin. Thank you so much, you guys. Can I go on the chain? Let go on the chain. Normally it moves more than that, bugger. Uh, Matt, I'm going to stand here for me. Kitty. Uh, this is the best selfie of Edinburgh Castle. To be honest, it looks more like a pair of Titan feet to me. Just standing right there for me. Standing right there. Feel free to take a selfie while you wait. I'll be with you in a second. Oh, Kurt, thank you so much. <laughs> this, piece of tape. this is the best selfie spot uh, for that giveaway sign. <laughs> it's not my fault, there's nothing interesting over there. Feel free to take a selfie anyway. Uh, Kevin, I'm just going to get you to put the hat just here for me. Put the hat just here. Good work. Now, Kevin, I'm going to get you to take the key. I'm going to get you to fold it up nice and small. Scrunch it up, scrunch it up, scrunch it up. Once you've got it nice and small, I need you to swallow it. <laughs> That's a joke, yeah. I've lost three keys this week. Uh, can I just get you to put the key inside the hat nice and gentle, just like your mum's 20 pound note at the end of the show. Fold it up, put it in the hat. I'm just standing right there facing the front. Uh, standing here for me, Kevin. Just here facing the front, yep, just on the truck door. <laughs> Put your feet together, watch your chin on the way down. Now, <laughs> Kevin, you're 10 years old today, I'll take a bow. Yes. Here's what's going to happen, Kevin. On the count of three, you take a bow. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, when Kevin takes her final bow for the show, uh, please give her a whole, whole lot of love. She's made you laugh, she's made you smile. When she came out here, we had maybe 30 people. We're now looking at close to 100. We couldn't have done that without you, okay, Kevin? done an absolutely amazing job. I couldn't have done this show without you. I think you deserve your five pound. Unfortunately, <laughs> that five pound that I promised you is in my pocket. Um, just give me one second. Just in that pocket there, mate. Yeah, that one, obviously, yeah. You're going to grab the bottom of the shorts in one hand and the chain in the other. Which you need to
to get into that pocket. Yeah. Okay, so you can pull the chain up with one hand, the bottom of the shorts on the other, like that. Yeah, pull. And no need to be careful, mate. It's not like it's close to anything important. <laughs> you reach in there, you're going to pull out the note, hold it up nice and high, don't do anything else with it, okay? Hold it up nice and high, don't do anything else with it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just for the last few minutes of my show, for my safety, for your entertainment, to make this sound amazing for Kevin, and to make it look pretty cool in any photos that you decide to take with me, with that in the background, uh, can I just get you all just to make your way up to the red rope line? I'm not going to pick on you, I'm not going to use you in the show. If we all come forwards together, no one gets embarrassed. This just, this just makes it sound so much cooler for Kevin. Uh, guys at the back, if you come forward, I get bigger. <laughs> it's called science. In some religions, magic. Are uh, you guys here as well? Uh, at the moment, a boss is going to pull up thinking he's hit payday. If I can get all of you just up in here for me, that'd be absolutely wonderful. Or even just up to the benches, it'd be great. I'd love to hear, guys. Thank you so much. It's okay, I'm not going to bite. I'm vegetarian. Thank you so much, guys. That's a whole lot better. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much. On the count of three, Kevin takes her bow. You all clap, scream, and cheer for Kevin, and she gets her five pound note. What's that, Kevin? The tenor. My lunch money. Um, I think that was the wrong pocket, Kurt. Uh, it's fine. Uh, Kevin. Congratulations, Kevin. You just got a pay rise. <laughs> Kevin, I'm going to give you that £10 instead, OK? Not just because I'm not in a position to argue, uh, but mostly because when I start... I'm just going to get rid of that. Can you just put that up over my shoulder for me? Up over my shoulder? Cheers. Now, the main reason I'm giving you that £10 note, when I started this job, and it is a job, no matter what my mum says, uh, £5 was a lot of money for a kid. These days, £5 would barely buy you a double shot whiskey mochaccino. <laughs> yeah, I'm a dad, I'm an uncle, not a dad. Caffeinate the children, give them alcohol, it's hilarious. Now, I'm going to give you that tenner, okay? You came out here, you made people laugh, you made people smile. That means you're a good performer. I would happily give you that fiver, but I'm going to give you a tenner because you've done such a good job, okay? One day, I wish that I could make as many people laugh and smile as you just have. And I hope if I can ever do what you've just done, that someone would give me a tenner. <laughs> hey, shut up, I studied psychology, that works. I Kevin, count of three, take a massive bow, not to me, to the audience, okay? Everybody, count of three, when she takes a bow, give her everything you've got. She's made you laugh, made you smile, she's amazing. Give it up for Kevin. One, two, three, Kevin! One, two, three, Kevin! not to milk it. This is what happens when you do. Uh, Kevin, I guess you go and grab your £10 note, buddy. Thank you so much for helping me out. Uh, what do you say, Kevin? You're very well. Uh, Kevin, at the show, I don't want that back, okay? That is your £10 note. You earn it. If Mummy tells you to give it back, you say, no, Mummy, I earned this. You've got a job. Give him one of yours. Thank you so much. One more round of applause for Kevin! <laughs> hey guys, you kind of have a choice. You can either move forward and watch the show or get run over. <laughs> to be honest, if you pick the second option, I will take it personally. Uh, guys, I've been doing this around the world for the past eight and a half years. At the end of each and every show, the number one question that I get asked is why? <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> I think a bird just exploded. Was that a scooter alarm? Oh wow, good work. If you guys take three steps forward, you won't get arrested for a potential theft. <laughs> Again, if you take the second option, I will take it personally. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the number one question I get asked at the end of each and every show is why? Why do I do this? Why do I make people laugh, make people smile by making myself look like an idiot? It's a good question. In 20 seconds time, I twerk my way around the stage. 
I end my show with an impersonation of a live human birth <laughs> and a reenactment of the Little Mermaid. Yeah, it gets weird. In 20 seconds, the show gets weirder. Uh, but right now, guys, I just want to take a short moment to introduce myself and tell you all why I do this. If I can get you all to take a short look around you. Half an hour ago. Mazel tov! Half an hour ago, uh, most of you wouldn't have looked each other in the eyes. Let alone stood shoulder to shoulder with a complete stranger, laughing and having fun. But look at us now. Where I'm standing, we're an amazing thing. We're a multicultural, multinational crowd of people. From many different religions, many different skin types, many different social and cultural backgrounds, standing together, having fun together. In a world as negative as ours is right now, I don't care that I look like an idiot, and I don't care that you're laughing at me, because you're standing and laughing together. That is why I do this. Thank you all for watching. Now, I know you hate this bit. Trust me, I hate it as well. I wish I didn't have to do this. But I know that if I don't do this, I will never be able to pay my bills or feed my family. I have a wife and six kids. Just don't tell my wife about the kids. <laughs> uh, seriously guys, if you've had fun, if I've made you laugh, made you smile, uh, please do come forward, chuck something in the hat at the end. Uh, I don't mind what you throw in, just remember to fold it up first. Uh, a five pound note lets me know that I've done a good job, lets me know that you've had fun. Uh, a tenor in my hat is a massive compliment to me, a massive compliment to the show. Uh, it really does mean a lot to me, which is why it's what I give Kevin each and every show. Uh, I don't expect 20 pound notes from everyone. Uh, today, we'll just go this half of the crowd. Yeah, just run off to the ATM, I'll wait here. That'll work one day. Uh, seriously, tenor is amazing, fiver's fantastic. If you can't afford a fiver, chuck in a few gold coins. If you honestly don't have any money, that's fine. Stay till the end, have fun. Come forward, shake my hand, say thank you. And then just dump it to the shop here, there's a cash machine. Oh <laughs> uh, no, seriously guys, I can't do shows without you guys. Imagine what that would look like. I really can't do my show without my two volunteers. Guys, you get your selfie? Yeah, good one. Did you get your selfie? You got a gun, it's just now. <laughs> uh, guys, thank you so much for helping me out. On the count of three guys, let's give these boys a little bit of love and attention. Uh, they're out here, so you didn't have to be. Thank you so much, boys. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you so much. If that's what you guys can head back to your families. Then head back to your families if they're still there. <laughs> all right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, at the start of all this, I mentioned that Harry Houdini, the guy who invented this trick, could do this in just under four minutes. Now, what I didn't mention is that he did it behind a curtain. Now the reason for the curtain is he grew up in a time where being a gentleman was very important. So in front of thousands of men, women and children, this might have been considered slightly inappropriate. The reason I get to do it like this, out here on the streets, is just because it makes people smile, makes people laugh. If you haven't smiled or laughed yet, like that man at the back, looking very confused, he's just shaking his head at me. I'm sorry, I'll give you the straitjacket back after I'm finished, Dad. If you didn't want me borrowing it, you should have kept that box under the bed locked. I got him to smile! <laughs> Woo! All right, that's me done. I got the grumpy guy to smile. See you later. Here we go. Um, the reason I... It... Give me five more seconds, guys. I promise it gets weirder. As promised, I'm going to end my show uh, with an impersonation of the Little Mermaid, followed by a live human birth. Just to build up the energy, every time my foot hits the ground, one stomp, one clap, all together. It'll sound weird at first, because only the cool, smart, attractive people do it. <laughs> but once the rest of you join in, it sounds amazing. Here we go. 
Count of three, one stop, one clap. One, two, three. Just one clap, guys, I'm not a tap dancer. One, two, three. I can sense some lost trust between us. It's okay, I'll build it up again. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's see how we go without the counting. impersonating the little mermaid. But to make it a little bit special, I'll be doing it by using one of the world's most popular dance moves. This is a move that I learned uh, while I was in Paris. Pretty much any music video that you watch around the world features this dance move. Kids, this is what cool looks like. The world's coolest dance move. <laughs> this is cool. I'm cool. I'm stuck. Um, hey, you guys did a good job today. I'm gonna have to move into power twerking. Power twerking my way to being a mermaid. Kids, stay in school. Go to university. Get a degree in psychology. I did. And look what I can do. Hey, kids. Look, 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 it's a mermaid! <laughs> ah, okay, I'm not gonna lie, this was a bad idea! Alright, I'm gonna move on to the live human birth. I do try to make this as realistic as possible. <laughs> ah! That's the dad. It's the first time dad. No one warned him. And here we go. Here comes the baby. Oh wow. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> you did a really good job today! <laughs> Thank you! Oh, here we go! Here comes the baby! Oh, the train! Oh, the baby! Complete with diaper! <laughs> the train is gone! <laughs> Gone! Yeah. Right, wait, 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 wait. At this point in each and every show, you will start to notice people walking away without having the grace and gratitude to come forward and shake my hand. I go inside my straitjacket. If I come out and you're all gone, like those guys, it really does hurt my feelings. I can say thank you in ten different languages. I only want you to say thank you in one. And that's the international language of money. <laughs> Here we go. You guys have been a great audience. I hope to see you all in just a second. I'm going to try and get out of this as quickly as possible without making this too painful for anyone here. <laughs> Are you giving him money? Where are you going? Can I put some money in as well? One, two, three! Up! Ladies and gentlemen, it's not any bloody move, or I'll wipe it again. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, hello. You want me a busker? There's room in the box. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, my name is Malachi Frost. This is my heart. This is my heart. This is what I do to make the world smile with my art. If you've had fun, don't just walk away. Count of three, give me some love. And come forward, give me some love. One, two, three! <laughs> this year, 
Ja, ja. 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 